Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another what if video or sort of it's actually more of a question in sense actually and that question is could Earth survive in any of the Trappist planet's orbits where it will have similar well it'll pretty much be similar to the way it is around our sun so like the t will the temperature that's what we're mainly going to be focusing on will the temperature be the same we're going to see if it could survive like it, it does normally in our solar system we're going to see if it could survive in any of the Trappist planet's areas so first of all we're going to move to Trappist 1B here. So this one's um, at 100 degrees, but yeah, we're going to put it here anyway. We're just going to see how it. Um, we're just going to see how it works. So we'll go ahead and remove Trappist. We're just going to have the Earth um, orbiting in this area. So it's not exactly the same orbit, but it's in the rough area, and we're going to see if it holds its normal temperature. So this is a brand new Earth. This is the stats it should have um, around our sun. So we're going to go ahead and see if these stats can survive anywhere in the system at all. So we're starting off with uh, planet B, and then we're going to work our way all the way out to H, and we're going to see if Earth's temperature and, and we, like, would we be able to survive around Trappist at any distance in where the planets are? So we're going to go ahead and uh, literally click play. And Earth is now at 17 degrees. And we'll turn off climate mode because that always messes things up. So as you can see, it's, it's not going to work. We are, it's increasing to 150 degrees. So that is a failed test right there. Earth would not survive in the Trappist 1B area. So it definitely won't survive in that part of the system. Next up, we'll move to 1C. You can already see by 1C's temperature probably where earth will end up so again put a brand new earth in there i doubt it'll be able to hold its temperature though so we're gonna go ahead and click play so there it is so it's going around and as you can see already into the 80s and yeah it's just getting stuck around the 80s 90s it's actually increasing a bit more there but as you can see still not um still not hatable enough for us to survive at that temperature because that is just that's way too much right next up we're going to 1d now this one is frozen so this could be quite interesting because this one, um, I don't think this has an atmosphere on it. So maybe, uh, yeah, we don't really know the atmospheres on these. We're just going to see if it is survive on the star because the other planets are not our concern. We're just going to see if the Earth can survive in any of their orbits. So, right. So click play. Right, here we go. Right, 15 degree. No, we want to turn that off. All right, so it's increasing again up into the 20s, the 30s. Let's turn off the uh, zone for now. So there we are. It's in, the, it's in the high f or mid 30s, actually the mid to the low 30s. It's still increasing a bit more. It's doing a little, It's definitely doing better than the previous two. So that gives me high hopes for Trappist 1E, which is the next planet out. Or maybe 1F. So yeah, there we are. Right, so yeah, it's stuck around 36 degrees there. Right, so now moving on to the next one, which is even further out. Will Earth be able to handle it at this distance? Will Earth be able to survive like it normally does around our sun? You got to remember as well, since it is a red dwarf, it does act different to the same or the um, type of star our sun is. So since our sun is, it's a G-type main sequence, isn't it? I believe. So yeah, yellow dwarf compared to the red dwarf here. The red dwarf um, can change its luminosity from time to time. It can fluctuate compared to the normal stars, which are different. So yeah, there we are. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and remove client mode. Right, it's actually cooling down, okay. But can it can it handle it? Or is it gonna completely freeze up? Because if it goes below zero, it yeah, not still no. So that is uh, still a fail again. It hasn't it can't do it. So it looks like Yeah, we'll go ahead and move to F uh, G and H now, but it looks like if it can't handle it at that orbit, I don't think it's going to handle it at this orbit. So we'll go ahead and uh, remove 1F. We'll still put the Earth around here just to see how it copes at this distance. But from um, the results of the previous one we've just done, it looks like Earth would never fit in any of the orbits in this system. It seems it's either too hot or too cold. It's not in that correct area. So we'll just go ahead and uh, place all these guys in. And we'll see if we can work out the uh, correct area as well. We're trying to put an Earth in the sweet spot where it will actually work. Yeah, there we go. So that is all of the Trappist planets gone. Right, so we've click play. Right, so now the Earth, or all of the Earths, have completely replaced the Trappist planets. So obviously we'll go ahead and disable the climate mode on these guys. And we'll re-enable it after a while as well, see if anything changes. But climate mode's always a bit buggy, so I wouldn't really trust it. So yeah, that's all disabled there. All right, there we go. Right, so we'll just go ahead and run this and see um, what happens. So this could be quite... Um, could be quite an interesting um thing here so i'm assuming they're all gonna freeze but yeah we know you never know but i'm pretty sure they will so right we've let it run a bit right so i think our final results here is 155 for trappist 1b or around that because it can change 95 for trappist 1c d is 36 i mean 
Very, very hot. I mean, maybe, maybe you, I mean, some things probably would survive at that temperature. But it probably wouldn't be doing good for a lot of the um, jungles and tree areas. Forests there, I'm pretty sure they'd all have forest fires, so that probably wouldn't be good. You can see all the green has disappeared on it, so that wouldn't work. That's too hot. But the next one out, minus three degrees. I mean, again, it wouldn't be forest fires and stuff this time. It would just be a, a lot of heavy snow and ice problems. But, I mean, minus three degrees is an average temperature. I mean, some areas it could be a little warmer where it goes into the positive temperatures, but I'm not sure about that. So I think that's still too cold. Earth, and it's not the same as what the Earth normally is. And the question was, would Earth fit anywhere in the system with the, pretty much the same settings it normally, or the same temperature it has around our sun? So the answer to that is no. The Earth would not work in the Trappist system at any of the planet's orbits. So, right, there we go. Then the next one goes all the way to minus 36. Then we've got minus 50. And then the last planet is minus 80. So, yeah, no areas working here. But we'll put client mode on. We'll see um, if anything changes. So... Right, there we go. I'm interested to see the client mode on the two, the, the two which are the closest. So, there we go. Right, so this one here. If we turn it on. So, okay, so as we can see, with client mode on, it's mainly the equator area which is the least affected. Like, we'll go on a flashlight mode, just get a quick look around. So, you can see most of um, South America there. That's doing all right. Obviously, the mountains here, they're obviously all going to get snowed up. Even the north of Africa there has got snow on it. So, yeah, even though it's uh, the average temperature of minus 300, I'm pretty sure this area here, so all of the main area across the um, equator area of Africa here, I'm pretty sure all of that would only be maybe a few degrees above zero, so still a very, very cold, and I'm not sure the plants there would be able to survive. I mean, certainly like tropical-like plants and stuff in the forests and things, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be able to survive at that temperature. Obviously, everywhere else is completely frozen up. I mean, all of Europe is completely gone. I mean, you can only just see Spain and Portugal there. Pretty much France has completely disappeared into the snow. You can see a bit of Italy as well. If we look around to the Asia area, India um, seems to be doing all right. Not too much snow there. A lot of China. This area, Australia, even the bottom of Australia there. So this area seems all right. Literally, like I said, the equator area, that's obviously going to do the best. So there's that. Right, and then the other Earth, obviously, even with climate mode on, there is. I doubt there's going to be any polar caps. Yeah, it's too hot. All of the ice would have melted by the looks of it. Actually, is that a little bit of snow there? I can't really... Uh, let's go ahead and just remove all that. No, that's no snow. That's just the clouds. But as you can see at this earth, no snow at all. That would all be completely burnt up at 36 degrees. So, yeah, to answer the question, would Earth fit anywhere in the Trappist system? The answer is a giant no. Too hot or too cold in between planet C and planet D here. But maybe if you put it in between the two orbits, it would work. But again, that goes against... Um, the question, because the question would was, would it fit in any of the planet's orbits? This is a custom orbit, so it doesn't count. So I'm guessing in the midpoint, how would it handle in the midpoint? So we'll turn that off. Okay, so the midpoint, it's 14 degrees, 13. Okay, so pretty much the midpoint, as you can see, we're already getting better results in between planet C and D. That's where the Earth would need to be in the Trappist system, but obviously there's no planet orbit in there. It's just in the... Uh, just out of the red zone there but that's pretty much where the earth um would do comfortably is in this area in between planet um c and d there so yeah there we go guys so hopefully that was um that still wasn't the longest video of all time but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless and yeah i thought that was an interesting question to do for today so if you've got any more questions or scenarios we could try out maybe including trappist one or the solar system like maybe their planets are trappist in our system or something maybe if you want to um me to do any of those and yeah let me know down below in the comments and also if you've got any ideas for any what if videos or anything like that as well so let me know and then maybe i can do it for a video at some point too but yeah like i said hopefully you enjoyed today's video and yeah found it um interesting yeah it kind of sucks the earth doesn't fit anywhere in the trappist system as it's either too hot or cold so that's um that kind of sucks I was, I was thinking it may work somewhere but obviously it's just out of the sweet spot in this system the planet orbits so yeah earth would not work in the trappist system um unfortunately there so yeah oh well could always try it in another system maybe if we could get um we could, yeah we could try it in another system actually um, if there's any more we could use in sandbox. I know there's a few other Kepler planets we could try. I mean, if anyone wants me to do that, then let me know down below. Um, but yeah, that is everything, guys. So let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this um, question sort of video for today, guys. And yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also, um, subscribe. Helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers. So we're getting really, really close to that now, guys. But yeah, that is um, pretty much everything. So make sure you have a great day. Um, and yeah, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. You can also um, send systems for me to check out in my Discord as well if you would like to do that. But yeah, that is everything. Thing. 
So yeah, and again, massive thank you to everyone who's recently described, helps on the journey to 10,000, as yeah, it's absolutely crazy how things are going, but yeah, that is it for the last time. I'm really not the best at outros, am I? But yeah, that is it, so um, yeah guys, I will see you all in the next video, goodbye.